Executor's Office, Linton O'Neill X 232 East Greater Port Moore St. Catherine. St. Catherine, America. A Walk Indian Nation in America. House of Dallas. C slash O Executor's Office, Linton O'Neill X 232 East Greater Port Moore St. Catherine, American Island of Zamayaka, Jamaica Commonwealth. In the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court in Traffic Division, Civil. Regina slash James Plaintiff. Versus Case. CA 2019 TR 1614443-48 Linton O'Neill Dallas Defendant underscore 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 Truth Affidavit in the Nature of Supplemental Rules for Administrative and Maritime Claims Rule 201 Judicial Notice of Adjudicated Facts In the matters for commerce, all commerce operated in truth, demand for truth is made by all party for full disclosure equals who are you? Who do you represent and who is the real party of interest? Is the real party of interest the Commonwealth for Britain, the British Crown, and the Queen for England i.e., Regina slash James, and or the Holy See? Verified declaration in the nature by an affidavit for truth in commerce and contract by waiver for tort presented by this living soul, one for we the people under original common law jurisdiction for Jamaica by the supreme law of the land, the United States of America contracts, the constitutions of 1787 amended as the Bill of Rights 1789 and ratified in 1791. 4. Whom it may concern, in the matter for Linton O'Neill Dallastum copyright case, CA 2019 TR 1614443-48, and all derivatives thereof. I Linton O'Neill X, herein after title owner, the undersigned for one we the people, sovereign, natural born living soul manifest, the posterity, born upon the land in the one for several counties within the one for the several states united for America, the undersigned posterity, creditors, claimants and secured party, herein after Linton O'Neill X, Title owner on behalf of the defendant Linton O'Neill Dallastum copyright, as witness do hereby solemnly testify to the facts and submit to cross. Examination about a prior statement, and this statement that. 1. Linton O'Neill X, the title owner is competent for stating the matters set forth herewith. 2. Linton O'Neill X, the title owner have personal knowledge concerning the facts testified herein. 3. Linton O'Neill X is the executor, Counsel and principal over the Linton O'Neill Dallas estate. C. Public Record, 8009, Island Record Office, Jamaica. 4. Linton O'Neill X has resigned from the office of registered agent by a resignation of registered agent. C. Public Record, 7860, Island Record Office, Jamaica. 5. All the facts stated herein are true, correct, complete, and certain, not misleading admissible as evidence, and if testifying Linton O'Neill X, the title owner shall so testify. Judiciary ACT, 24 September 1789 Section 342 First Congress Session 1 CH 20 Greater than 1789. Judiciary ACT, 25 June 1948 CH 645 Greater than 62 STAT 685. All rights reserved. Page 2. Definition of Terms Bouvier's Law Dictionary 1856 Edition. Fiction of law, the assumption that a certain thing is true, and which gives to a person or thing, a quality which is not natural to it, and establishes, consequently, a certain disposition, which, without the fiction, would be repugnant to reason and to truth. It is an order of things, which does not exist, but which the law prescribe, or authorizes it differs from presumption because it establishes as true, something, which is false, whereas presumption supplies the proof of something true. Dallas, Dictionary H.T. C1 Tau. 171, N. 203, 2 Tau. 217, N. 203, 11 Tau. 11, N. 10, Note 2, Ferguson, Moral Philosophy, Part 5, C10, S. 3 Burgess on Insolvency, 139, 140, 
Report of the Revisers of the Civil Code of Pennsylvania, March 1, 1832, p. 8. Fictitious Actions, Practice. Suits brought on pretended rights. 2. They are sometimes brought usually on a pretended wager for the purpose of obtaining the opinion of the court on a point of law. Courts of justice were constituted for the purpose of deciding existing questions of right between parties, and they are not bound to answer impertinent questions which persons think proper to ask them in the form of an action on a wager. 12 East, 248. Such an attempt has been held to be a contempt of court, and Lord Hardwick in such a case committed the parties and their attorneys. Republic Temp. Hardu. 237. See also Combe. 425. 1. Company 83. 6 Cranch. 147 to 8. Veed feigned actions. 3. The Court of the King's Bench fined an attorney 40 pounds for stating a special case for the opinion of the court, the greater part of which statement was fictitious. 3. Barn. And CR, 597, SC, 10 ECLR, 193. Fiction of Law. Self v. Ray, 61 WN, 2D, 261. The common law is the real law the supreme law of the land, the code, rules, regulations, policy and statutes are not the law. 16 AM Jur 2D, Sector 177 Late 2D, Sector 256, the general misconception is that any statute passed by legislators bearing the appearance of law, constitutes the law of the land. The U.S. Constitution is the supreme law of the land and any statute, to be valid, must be in agreement. It is impossible for both the Constitution and a law violating it to be valid, one must prevail. This is succinctly stated as follows, the general rule is that an unconstitutional statute, though having the form and name of law is in reality no law, but is wholly void and ineffective or any purpose, since unconstitutionality dates from the time of its enactment and not merely from the date of the decision so branding it. An unconstitutional law, in legal contemplation, is as inoperative as if it had never been passed. Such a statute leaves the question that it purports to settle just as it would be had the statute not been enacted. Since an unconstitutional law is void, the general principles follow that it imposes no duties, confers no rights, creates no office, bestows no power or authority on anyone, affords no protection and justifies no acts performed under it. A void act cannot be legally consistent with a valid one. An unconstitutional law cannot operate to supersede any existing valid law. Indeed, insofar as a statute runs counter to the fundamental law of the land, it is superseded thereby. No one is bound to obey an unconstitutional law, and no courts are bound to enforce it. Fact of Law Article 1. Section 8 the jury shall have the right to determine the law and the fact. Elmore v. McCammon, 1986, 640 F, Sup, 905, the right to file a lawsuit pro se is one of the most important rights under the Constitution and laws. Yequa v. A. Hopkins, 118 U.S. 356, 370, undersigned as sovereign, and no court has challenged that status Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution no person shall be held to answer for a capital or otherwise infamous crime, unless on a presentment or indictment of a grand jury. New York Constitution slash standing, sovereignty itself is, of course, not subject to law, for it is the author and source of law. Share v. Cullen, 481 F 946, there can be no sanction or penalty imposed upon one because of this exercise of constitutional rights. Hurtado v. People of State of California, 110 U.S. 516-A. The state cannot diminish rights of six. Miranda v. Arizona, 384 U.S. 436, 491, where rights secured by the Constitution are involved. There can be no rulemaking or legislation which would abrogate them. Marbury v. Madison, 5th U.S., 2 Cranch, 137. 174, 
176, 1803 All laws, rules and practices, which are repugnant to the Constitution are null and void. Judiciary ACT, 24 September 1789 Section 342 First Congress Session 1 CH 20 Greater than 1789 Judiciary ACT, 25 June 1948 CH 645 Greater than 62 STAT 685 all rights reserved. Page 3. Rodriguez v. Ray Donovan, U.S. Department of Labor, 769F, 2D 1344, 1348, 1985 All codes, rules, and regulations are for government authorities only, not human-slash-creators in accordance with God's laws. All codes, rules, and regulations are unconstitutional and lacking due process. Curtin v. Neal, 2 N.C., 338 May Term 1796. All men decide for themselves whether they want to participate in the institutions of men or not. Every man is independent of all laws, except those prescribed by nature. He is not bound by any institutions formed by his fellow man without his consent. 16 A.M. Jur 2D, 16 A.M. Jur 2D, Sector 97, Barry v. United States 273 U.S. 128, statutes, which would deprive a citizen of the rights of person or property without a regular trial, according to the course and usage of common law, would not be the law of the land. Amos v. Mosley, 74 Fla 555, 77 So. 619, if the legislature clearly misinterprets a constitutional provision, the frequent repetition of the wrong will not create a right. Chisholm v. State of Georgia, U.S., 2 Dahl 419, 454, 1 L. Ed. 440, 455, 2 Dahl 1793 pages 471 to 472. At the Revolution, the sovereignty devolved on the people, and they are truly the sovereigns of the country, but they are sovereigns without subjects, with none to govern but themselves. The citizens of America are equal as fellow citizens and as joint tenants in the sovereignty. City of Bisbee v. Cochise County, 78p.2d 982, 986, 52 Arizona 1, Government is not sovereignty. Government is the machinery, or expedient for expressing the will of the sovereign power. Philbin Corporation v. United States, DCSC, 266 F, 911, 914, The sovereignty of the United States consists of the powers existing in the people as a whole, and the persons to whom they have delegated it, and not as a separate personal entity, and as such it does not possess the personal privileges of the sovereign of England, and the government, being restrained by a written constitution, cannot take property without compensation, as can the English government by Act O.F. King, Lords, and Parliament. Hale v. Henkel, 201 U.S. 43, 279 the individual may stand upon his constitutional rights as a citizen. He is entitled to carry on his private business in his own way. His power to contract is unlimited. He owes no duty to the state or to his neighbors to divulge his business or to open his doors to an investigation, so far as it may tend to incriminate him. He owes no such duty to the state, since he receives nothing therefrom, beyond the protection of his life and property. His rights are such as existed by the law of the land long antecedent to the organization of the state, and can only be taken from him by due process of law, and in accordance with the Constitution. Among his rights are a refusal to incriminate himself, and the immunity of himself, and his property from arrest or seizure except under a warrant of the law. He owes nothing to the public as long as he does not trespass upon their rights. Marbury v. Madison 5 U.S. at Cranch, 137, 174, 176, 1803 All laws which are repugnant to the Constitution are null and void. Norton v. Shelby County, 118 U.S. 425p.442 An unconstitutional act is not law, it confers no rights, it imposes no duties, affords no protection, it creates no office, it is in legal contemplation, as inoperative as though it had never been passed. Riley v. Carter, 165 Ockel. 262, 25 p. 
2D 666, 79 ALR 1018, economic necessity cannot justify a disregard of cardinal constitutional guarantee. Robin v. Hardaway, 1 Jefferson 109, Virginia, 1772 All acts of the legislature apparently contrary to natural rights and justice are, in our law, and must be in the nature of things, considered void. We are in conscience bound to disobey. Scott v. Sanford, M.O., 60 U.S. 393, 404, 19 How. 393, 404, 15 L. Edition. 691. The words sovereign people are those who form the sovereign, and who hold the power, and conduct the government through their representatives. Every citizen is one of these people, and a constituent member of this sovereignty. Sloat v. Board of Examiners, 274 New York 367, 9 NE 2 D 12, 112 ALR 660, Disobedience or Evasion of A constitutional mandate may not be tolerated, even though such disobedience may, at least temporarily, promote in some respects the best interests of the public. State v. Sutton, 63 Minnesota 147, 65 NW 262, 30 LRA 630 AM, ST 459, when any court violates the clean and unambiguous language of the Constitution, a fraud is perpetrated and no one is bound to obey it. C 16 AM, Jur. 2D 177, 178. Judiciary ACT, 24 September 1789 Section 342 First Congress Session 1 CH 20 Greater than 1789. Judiciary ACT, 25 June 1948 CH 645 Greater than 62 STAT 685. All rights reserved. Page 4. Yequa v. Hopkins, Sheriff, 118 U.S. 356, Sovereignty itself is, of course, not subject to the law, for it is the author and source of law, but in our system, while sovereign powers are delegated to the agencies of government, sovereignty itself remains with the people, by whom and for whom all government exists and acts, for, the very idea that one man may be compelled to hold his life, or the means of living, or any material right essential to the enjoyment of life, at the Mere will of another, seems to be intolerable in any country where freedom prevails, as being the essence of slavery itself. 16 AM Jur 2D, Sector 155, since the Constitution is intended for the observance of the judiciary, as well as other departments of government, and the judges are sworn to support its provisions, the courts are not at liberty to overlook or disregard its commands or counteract evasions thereof, it is their duty in authorized proceedings to give full effect to the existing constitution and to obey all constitutional provisions irrespective of their opinion as to the wisdom or the desirability of such provisions and irrespective of the consequences, thus it is said that the courts should be in our alert to enforce the provisions of the United States Constitution and guard against their infringement by legislative fiat or otherwise in accordance with these basic principles. The rule is fixed that the duty in the proper case to declare a law unconstitutional cannot be declined and must be performed in accordance with the delivered judgment of the tribunal before which the validity of the enactment it is directly drawn into question. If the Constitution prescribes one rule, and the statute another in a different rule, it is the duty for the courts to declare that the Constitution, and not the statute governs in cases before them for judgment. U.S. Constitution this Constitution, and the laws of the United States which shall be made in pursuance thereof, and all treaties made, or which shall be made, under the authority of the United States, shall be the supreme law of the land, and the judges in every state shall be bound thereby, anything in the Constitution, or laws of any state to the contrary notwithstanding. Hoke v. Henderson, 15, NC 15, 25, AM Dec 677 statutes which would deprive a citizen of the rights of person or property without a regular trial, according to the course and usage of common law, would not be the law of the land. 16 AM Jur 2D, 16 AM Jur 2D. Sector 97, Barry v. United States 273 U.S. 128, that a constitution should receive a literal interpretation in favor of the citizen, 
is especially true with respect to those provisions which were designed to safeguard the liberty and security for the citizen in regard to person and property. 16 AM Jur 2D, Sector 117, various facts of circumstances extrinsic to the Constitution are often resorted to by the courts to aid them in determining its meaning, as previously noted, however. Such extrinsic aids may not be resorted to where the provision in the question is clear and unambiguous in such a case the courts must apply the terms of the Constitution as written and they are not at liberty to search for meanings beyond the instrument. Contracts UCC 1-308 Performance or Acceptance under Reservation of Rights A. A party that with explicit reservation of rights performs or promises performance or assents to performance in a manner demanded or offered by the other party does not thereby prejudice the rights reserved. Such words as without prejudice, under protest, or the like are sufficient. https colon slash slash www.law.cornell.edu slash ucc slash one slash one hyphen two zero seven Marbury v. Madison, 5 U.S. 137, 1803 If any statement, within any law, which is passed, is unconstitutional, the whole law is unconstitutional. 16 AM Jur 2D, Sector 98 while an emergency cannot create power, and no emergency justifies the violation of any of the provisions of the United States Constitution or states' constitutions, public emergency such as economic depression for especially liberal construction of constitutional powers has been declared that because of national emergency, it is the policy of the courts of times of national peril so liberally to construe the special powers vested in the chief executive as to sustain and effectuate the purpose thereof, and to that end also more liberally to construe the constituted division and classification of the powers of the coordinate branches of the government, and in so far as may not be clearly inconsistent with the Constitution. Judiciary ACT, 24 September 1789 Section 342 First Congress Session 1 CH 20 Greater than 1789 Judiciary ACT 25 June 1948 CH 645 greater than 62 STAT 685. All rights reserved. Page 5. Consent. Olmsted v. U.S. 277 U.S. 438, 478, 1928 The right to be let alone is the most comprehensive of rights and the right most valued by civilized men. To protect that right, Every unjustifiable intrusion by the government upon the privacy of the individual, whatever means employed, must be deemed a violation of the Fourth Amendment. Only people can file a criminal complaint, one, one or more of the people sign a sworn affidavit that they have been injured. Two, a prosecutor, on behalf of the government brings an accusation before the grand jury, and the grand jury either indicts or does nothing. 3. The grand jury by its own will can investigate merely on suspicion that the law is being violated, or even because it want assurance that it is not, and if it finds wrongdoing it can present it to the court, and it must go to trial. No one can second-guess the grand jury, unless the grand jury's action violates another's unalienable rights. Licenses Murdoch v. Pennsylvania, 319 U.S. 105 no state shall convert a liberty into a license and charge a fee therefore. Shuttlesworth v. City of Birmingham, Alabama, 376 U.S. 262, if the state converts a right, liberty, into a privilege, the citizen can ignore the license and fee and engage in the right, liberty, with impunity. Isbel v. Stovall, the court is defined, an agency of the sovereign created by him directly or indirectly under his authority, consisting of one or more officers, established and maintained for the purpose of hearing and determining issues of law and fact regarding legal rights and alleged violations thereof, and of applying the sanctions of the law, authorized to exercise its powers in each course of law at times, and places previously determined by lawful authority. Rights, the Jamaica Independence Act of July 19, 1962 Section 1 Part, one Her Majesty's Government in the United Kingdom shall have no responsibility for the Government of Jamaica. USC 18 SS 241, if two or more persons conspire to injure, oppress, threaten, 
or intimidate any person in any state in the free exercise or enjoyment of any right that shall be fined under this title, or imprisoned not more than ten years, or both. USC 18 SS 242, whoever, under color of any law, statute, ordinance, regulation, or custom, willfully subjects any person in any state to the deprivation of any rights shall be fined under this title, or imprisoned not more than one year, or both. USC 42 SS 1983, every person who, under color of any statute, ordinance, regulation, custom, or usage, of any state subjects, or causes to be subjected, any person within the jurisdiction thereof to the deprivation of any rights, privileges, or immunities secured, but a constitution and laws, shall be liable to the party injured in an action at law. USC 42 1985, if two or more persons in any state or territory conspire for the purpose of depriving, either directly or indirectly, any person's rights the party so injured or deprived may have an action for the recovery of damages against any one or more of the conspirators. USC 42 SS 1986, every person who, having knowledge that any of the wrongs conspired to be done, or are about to be committed, and having power to prevent, or aid in preventing the commission of the same, neglects, or refuses so to do, if such wrongful act be committed, shall be liable to the party injured. U.S. Code 42 and 18, when you are detained without your consent, for violating a statute, you have just been kidnapped, and if the judge sets bail he just set a ransom, and when the prosecutor confirms the charges he becomes part of a conspiracy, and you can put the conspirators in jail, and sue them for damages. It's all about jurisdiction and consent. Davis v. Wexler, 263 U.S. 22, 24, The Assertion of Federal Rights, Bill of Rights, When Plainly and Reasonably Made, is not to be defeated under the name of local practice. Nikwa v. Hopkins, 118 U.S. 356, 370, Undersigned is sovereign, and no court has challenged that status slash standing, sovereignty itself is, of course, not subject to law, for it is the author and source of law. Who is the true party of interest? Who or what is Regina, Mr. James? Judiciary ACT, 24 September 1789 Section 342 First Congress Session 1 CH 20 Greater than 1789 Judiciary ACT 25 June 1948 CH 645 greater than 62 STAT 685. All rights reserved. Page 6. Conclusion. 1. Public servant government cannot do anything without individual's consent. Interference of a man's civil rights give right to a person to sue for damages. 2. Nisi Prius courts rely on statutes, which is fiction of law, that seeks to control the behavior of the sovereign people of New York and other states, who are under common law, not statutes, and who ordained and established the law, therefore legislators cannot legislate the behavior of the people. No one is bound to obey an unconstitutional law, and no courts are bound to enforce it. 3. Congress cannot alter rights or liberty. 4. Rights or liberty do not come in degrees. 5. States cannot license rights or liberty. 6. Officers of the court have no immunity from liability when violating constitutional rights. 7. If the people refuse, it cannot go forward. Servant government cannot do anything without your consent. When the judge asks you, do you understand, he means do you stand under the authority of this court, so when you say yes, you give him her slash the court jurisdiction over you. Cease and desist order. Regina slash James, you have trespass upon my estate and trust, and you have no right or authority, and it has caused me injury, damage and harm. I wish and require to forgive the trespass against myself and or my estate, upon full restoration of all my properties along with proper compensation for the harm, injury and damage caused to I, Linton O'Neill X of the House of Dallas. Regina slash James, I Linton O'Neill X has withdrawn my consent to these proceedings. You are now ordered to cease and desist or incur full commercial liability for your actions against the Linton O'Neill Dallas estate, with respect to case, CA 2019 TR 161443-48. Witnesses 
We, as competent living witnesses, testify to the fact that Linton Anilex is the author and copy claim owner of this document dated November 3, 2020, and his affix is marked by way of an autograph, thumbprint, and house seal of his own free will, as witnessed by our autograph and thumbprint seal. By underscore 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 underscore